Hello, and welcome to our presentation on transforming the scholarly publishing economy, reflections on the first three years. I'm Maureen Walsh, scholarly sharing strategist for the Ohio State University Libraries, and I am joined by my colleague, Jean Springs, collection strategist for the Ohio State University Libraries. Jean and I are the co-leads of a university library strategic initiative approved in April of 2019, Transforming the Scholarly Publishing Economy. As a follow-up to our CNI reporting in 2020, this briefing will focus on the status of the initiative as we take stock of the first three years and look toward renewing our strategic efforts in this space. We will highlight our current portfolio of transformational and transitional agreements our support for open scholarly infrastructure and publishing, and our work with our consortial partners. We will also share our current thinking on future directions for our initiative. Under our initiative, we are working to shift the publishing economy to increase its benefits for researchers and authors. We have prioritized directing funds away from paywall subscription models and toward open access publishing. We are seeking to bring the publishing system more under the control of academics and the academic enterprise, and to advance a more open system with minimal paywall for users and minimum delays between author and reader. We are seeking to manage the overall costs of the publishing portion of the research enterprise, not just for libraries, but for authors and the university. Our broader goals include educating, learning, informing, and building partnerships with stakeholders to support actions that transform publishing economics, expand avenues of open access, extend read access, and support authors' rights. And we continue to work to apply our equity values of advancing diversity, inclusivity, access, and social justice. The guiding principles of our initiative inform our strategic priorities and are aligned with Ohio State's and university libraries' vision, mission, and values. At the foundation is making the research and scholarship of Ohio State's faculty, staff, and students openly available and stewarding Ohio State's financial resources. We strive to apply our equity values of advancing diversity, inclusivity, access, and social justice to all that we do, and this is a continual learning space. When considering or proposing new agreements, we focus on cost neutrality, shared fiscal risk, and expanded and perpetual read access to content. Models at scale, agreements that cover the entirety of Ohio State, academic freedom, copyright retention, author's rights, and licensing for reuse are drivers of our negotiations. And we are committed to supporting peer publish, diamond open access, and scholarly societies. Our strategic investments in open access follow multiple pathways and leverage collective action with our consortial partners, including the Big Ten Academic Alliance and OhioLINK. University Libraries provides copyright and author's rights services for the campus. Our Diamond Open Access Publishing Program is in its 15th year, and our institutional repository program, the Knowledge Bank, is in its 20th year. We support open scholarly infrastructure and in publishing, including DSpace, Fedora, Public Knowledge Project, Archive, Dryad, the Open Library of Humanities, OAPEN, Directory of Open Access Journals, and the Directory of Open Access Books. And we serve in governance roles for community-supported open source software. To advance the opening of scholarly monographs, we are a funding institution participant in Tome toward an open monograph e ecosystem. We host the Ohio State University Press Open Monographs, and we support the University of Michigan Press's Fund to Mission and MIT Press's Direct to Open programs. Our current transformative and transitional agreements include partnerships with Wiley, Cambridge University Press, PLOS, Taylor and Francis, and the Royal Society. We are learning from and educating, informing, and engaging with stakeholders across campus to support the goals of our initiative. Through one-on-one -on -one conversations, campus communications, online information sharing, webinars, workshops, author and editor panels, and focus groups, we are looking to keep a pulse on campus and the impact of our initiative. 
We are engaging with faculty to understand their perspectives on scholarly publishing, evaluation and credentialing, and promotion and tenure requirements across disciplines. We are engaging with authors, editors, and members of scholarly societies to better understand their needs and motivations. We are engaging with the research enterprise to analyze and better understand publisher funding streams separate from the libraries. The work of this initiative aligns well with our greater mission to support content and emerging needs of our many constituents across campus. By engaging with researchers, we can better understand the diverse need within our research communities, identify commonalities where possible, and then explore potential solutions. We hope this will lead to new and enhanced partnerships within these research communities, bridging gaps and connecting between silos to create efficiencies and cost savings and maximize value and uptake where possible. Building out intentional partnerships is an essential component of the work we've undertaken as part of this initiative. Since the global scholarly publishing market is being impacted in many directions, we've had to evolve our existing partnerships with our consortia, like the Big Ten Academic Alliance and Ohio Link, to establish pilot agreements. We've shifted some of what had been typical end customer relationships with publishers into partnerships that have elements of shared risk in some of the experimenting that we've been doing. And we've tried to deepen our partnerships with scholarly societies and in supporting open infrastructure as these are woven within the complexities of this marketplace. As one broad facet of our multi-pronged approach, the agreements we've entered into as part of this initiative allow us to work toward our priorities while engaging campus and building out partnerships. The read and publish agreement with Taylor and Francis enabled us to be responsive to increasing demand for read access, combining it with open access publishing priorities. Our peer to publish agreement with PLOS initiated in the Big Ten Academic Alliance and then broadened via the Center for Research Libraries allowed us to engage across multiple consortia. And OhioLink's new hybrid open access publishing agreement with Wiley allows us to work alongside our diverse consortium membership while also aligning with the Big Ten Academic Alliance on their similar agreement with Wiley. Through the Big Ten Academic Alliance, we have supported, via collective action investing, different types of open access publishing and open infrastructure. While we may have previously supported some of these entities in the past, it's our hope that the intentional collective action from some of our research library peers will allow for the sustainability and growth of these open ventures. Similarly, through the Big Ten Academic Alliance, we have participated in collective action investments of open access monographs. So some lessons learned from phase one of our work on this initiative. In terms of assessment, developing and iterating assessment practices is an essential component of this work, particularly as phase one close and we look toward the next phase of the initiative. Assessment allows us to understand both value and impact, as well as reflect on working relationships within our various partnerships to identify opportunities for iteration or improvement. Some questions we need to answer go beyond a simple return on investment analysis. How can we iterate an agreement going forward, especially as the marketplace continues to independently or interdependently evolve? What happens if we do not renew or re-engage with any particular partner? Successes to build on. What has worked well for us? What are the campus level impacts beyond just cost control and an increase in individual open access articles by Ohio State authors? What elements of shared learning can we identify to not only inform future decision-making, but also to build upon relationships throughout campus, our consortia, and beyond? We've been able to partner with a large commercial partner on a multi-year pilot agreement. During this time, we've met regular with several folks from the publisher, providing a variety of feedback on workflows and processes, but also maintaining dialogue about our different but shared overarching goals of the pilot partnership. How might this partnership look going forward as we near the end of our initial agreement period? What can we build upon or not to achieve even more progress on our principles? Similarly, several of the agreements we've entered into have allowed us to more intentionally partner with our health sciences library. Though we've always worked closely together to provide cohesive collections for our distinct and shared constituencies, 
work here has encouraged us to think past cost sharing and look toward how we can best articulate a shared vision for impacting scholarly publishing. Work to do. We've been pleased to see a number of successes in our work on this initiative, but there will always be more to do. How can we best interrogate our experiences to tease out how best to expand and build upon them? For instance, how do we leverage the success we've had in intra-university partnerships to better engage with our campus research enterprise? Additionally, how exactly can we live our equity values via this work? What discernible impact are our agreements having on different communities across our state, country, and the world? How do we best move past intent to capture actual impact? As we work on the second phase of the initiative, how do we best move toward operationalizing this work? Continue to develop and anchor our work and our values and guiding principles. This includes expanding diversity, equity, inclusion, access, and social justice, maximizing stewardship, and advocating for authors' rights. Work to balance our portfolio partners. What is the right mix of nonprofit, open source, societies, scholar-led, and commercial publishing partners? Continue to invest in new and evolving business models. Diamond Open Access, Pure Publish, Read and Publish, Subscribe to Open. Experiment in supporting varying resource models with our consortia as a single institution and as part of a wider community. Fine tune our strategic engagement and communication. Best approaches toward outreach, convening targeted conversation with stakeholders and continue to build out assessment models. What is the impact of our prioritization of diversity, equity, inclusion, and social justice? Have we really expanded our reach? Has our audience deepened and widened? What stories can we tell about this impact? Stay tuned as we share out progress on this next phase of the initiative. If you have questions or would like to contact us, please email us at transformpublishing at osu.edu. More information is available via our website, library.osu.edu forward slash transforming hyphen publishing. Thank you.